Hello, this is Leo St. John, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a spherical joint. We're going to first put together a ball and socket. I'll put the socket on there. And then uh, we'll add a ball. Uh, in order to get this to fit right, we're going to have to use a tangent alignment to align the sphere to the spherical cutout. We're going to want this to be straight up. So we'll rotate this. Degrees. Then we'll color the grounded part blue, and the moving part we will color red. And then we will go into motion. Uh, usually, when you click yes. When going into motion, it will create joints for you that will work during a simulation. But All right, so a tangent joint will not work in motion. That's kind. If you were to push the simulation uh, button, is. it would just bring up that box that you have to dismiss. Casement window. Casement window is a window that's hinged on one side. Hmm. This oh. is a casement window. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Oh, okay. there we go. Time, the All right, I'll just have... click yes to show you okay. what the well, tangent the joint looks like. Nice. I like this windows. is not one of the options of and the, the joint the options. Now, this one's not a and example. it will not work in a simulation. So we'll just get rid of that. In, um, and I will first then show you how to which is create for the joint. First, you have to select the two components that the joint will occur between. Then you will select the location of the motion. And then direction I'm not entirely sure what that's for I think it's for planar reference I just select the closest thing you can to the location click OK and then there is our joint now we have to define the spherical joint the properties and if you want to change any of the things right here the type of joint the components location direction that's all available right there in definition the spherical joints can move on three axes. First, we will make a step motion for the x-axis. Displacement, we'll give it a step function. We'll put this at negative 90. And we're going to want to move this in an x motion, but also in a y motion, but not at the exact same time. This simulation will have a duration of one second, right. so we're going to want to go from 0 so, 0.5 seconds. See, Click the check. Uh, later on when you see a casement, and then we'll go to the y-axis like and here, give it a step negative 90, but swings. now we're going to want it to go from 0 0.5 to 1. Each bit of motion will happen in it a half of the simulation. Alright, now this should work. This should come down and then spin 90 degrees. Sometimes they have them in a stack, right? There's like three or four or five of them and they all go like that. You know what those are called? I like them. And that's how that works. Now, you could, that we've done those two pieces of motion, 
we're going to make the screw part of the ball spin around like a drill. So we'll set this back at a constant of zero and this at a constant of zero so that they're not moving around or anything while we're trying to get this to spin. We will have this go around in a complete circle and have it take the entire simulation to do so. You would have a window here, a window here, and a window here. Those are bay. A bow, I'm not going to draw the two. As you can see, it's spinning around. I'm not really sure why this is popping up. But that is the Z axis at work, it's spinning around the center of the joint. And um, that is pretty much the spherical joint. A uh, little more sophisticated, but uh, very useful.